Good morning, friend. Good morning. Could you help me with some money to buy these clothes for my baby? Oh no, man. Right now I can't. I bring just enough money for my things. Come on, it's just not enough for me. Please help me. Just a little. Hey, brother. Really, I'm a little busy right now, and... And really, if you keep bothering me, I'm going to call security. I'm going now, okay? Good morning, miss. Good morning, sir. Excuse me, could you help me with some money to buy those clothes for my baby? It's just not enough for me. Have you already checked the price and everything? Yes, but I can't afford it. Could you help me, please? Well, and... You say you just had your baby? Yes, my baby was born three days ago. In fact, my wife just got out of the hospital and I don't have enough money to buy these clothes for him. It says it costs 140 and I only bring 100 pesos. Oh, sir, this. Look, you know, don't worry. Let me see, let's see what I can do. I think I do bring a little. Are you really going to help me? Yes, 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 don't worry. The truth is, look, I live nearby, I can walk there. I mean, is not much, but... Thank you very much. No, you're welcome. I hope you can get everything you need for your baby. Right now, I think that's the important thing, that the baby is fine, right? I really appreciate it, ma'am. The truth is, you have a big heart. I was asking other people for a while if they could support me. And no one wanted to help me. They treated me very badly. They told me in a very rude way that they couldn't help me. And the truth is that I don't have a job right now. My baby was just born and needs clothes, food. That's the first thing I would like to buy for him. Yes, of course. Right now the important thing is that he is well, that he can be clothed and fed, right? Yes, and you are the first person to help me. Why do you help me? Why did you decide to give me the money you need for your bus? Well, as I say, the important thing right now is the baby, but also, the truth is, is that we would do anything for one's children, right? And well, I understand you, I try to put myself in your place, and I had a very bad time, I went through a very difficult situation when I had my baby too. Do you also have a baby? Yes, I have a five-year-old daughter. And how is your daughter? Well, she's a little sick. She was born premature. For me, it was very difficult because I don't earn much money. And apart from that, I had to work less hours. To take her to her therapies, to the hospital, to her appointments. And that's why I understand you, because it's very difficult when you go through that kind of situation. It's a good thing your baby is okay and healthy, right? Yes, fortunately he was born well. I'm just having a hard time buying him the things he needs. You know the babies need a lot of stuff. It would be the first clothes I buy for him, but the truth is I don't have enough money. I don't have a job right now and my wife doesn't work either. So our situation is very difficult. But it's good that you helped me because with your money, I'll be able to have enough for this and buy those clothes for my baby. Very happy for your baby. And what about your husband? Not anymore. Sadly, he passed away. So that's why it was even more difficult for me. He passed away when I was still pregnant. He had a work accident. They sent him to a training course, and when he was on his way, on the highway, he had a car accident. So, I think it was because of that difficult situation my daughter born before her due date. And since she was getting sick a lot, I took her to many doctors, to appointments, but she didn't get better. And it has been very difficult for me, because he ate my husband's work, they did not compensate us accordingly. Actually, you know what? I have spent too much time of my life on that, a lot of effort and money invested in fighting for something. Because they really didn't help us in any way. So you started to feel bad when your husband had the accident and that's why your daughter was born early? Yes, well imagine the impression, the pain, everything. 
and well, the doctors told me that what happened caused it. And you are taking care of your daughter? Yes, of course, right now, I take her to her therapies and doctor's appointments. But at the end, you know, you know that everything is expensive, everything is difficult and well, also knowing how sick she is and not being able to take care of her, she can't go to school because of her appointments and everything. And who supports you? Are you alone? That is why you are here? My mother takes care of her and helps me with what she can, but for me it is difficult and sad and it is painful because my mother is an elderly person and well, I would not want to cause an inconvenience to her, so right now she is the one who is supporting me. So is your mom sick too? Yes, what happens is that she is a little older and well, you know, age-related ailments, so that's why I need to work. It's more difficult with what you earn here, right? I imagine that you don't have enough to take your girl to the doctor, to her treatments, to give her what she needs. Very difficult. To be honest with you is really hard in every aspect because I have to ask for money, but as you just told me, sometimes people don't want to help you. But hey, here I am working and doing my best for myself and my family. Look, the truth is that I don't know, I don't know how to tell you this, but don't take this the wrong way. But this is a social experiment. I go out to test the kindness of the people, asking them if they could help me. And no one has wanted to help me. You are the first person who helps me, the first person I meet who has a good heart, who has good feelings and who helps me selflessly to buy something for my baby. Actually, I don't need this money. Thank God I have good economic stability. My wife is fine. My children, thank God, are also fine. And the truth is, I don't need the money. This is just a test, and I can see that you are a great person, and I want to reciprocate that because I can tell that you are a great person with values. So if you let me, I want to give you my baby's clothes. No, sir. How do you think? No, take it for your baby, please. No, look, please take it. Turn it around so you can see it has a surprise for you. I am helping you selflessly. I don't expect to receive anything in return. I know that you helped me with a good heart. That's why I'm giving you this. Thank you very much, really. No, no, you know this is a lot. I can't accept it. It's not much. You deserve it. You are a good person. You had struggled a lot with your daughter. You have the pressure with the issue of your salary. You worry about your mother and your daughter's health. You deserve it. Please accept it. To begin with, I don't even have the words to truly thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, really. You have nothing to thank, ma'am. You deserve it. I am just giving back a little bit for all the good things you had done. Look, that's for you, too, to help your daughter. No, 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 sir. No, no, no. It's just too much. Look, this is fine. Take it, please. I'm only going to take what I need. Maybe there are people who need more so you can help them, right? No, madam. Think that I am not the one who gives this to you. It's a lot. I can't. Think that it is God, that life is finally giving you back a little of everything you have suffered. Please take it to help your mother and little girl. For your mother, for your daughter, for everything you need. Thank you very much, sir. Truly, I thank you with all my heart. Look, madam, the truth is that your story has moved me a lot. Everything that happened to your husband, the fact that your mother is sick, that only the three of you are alone to cover the expenses and for everything you'll need. I know very good doctors here in Guadalajara. I know the best doctors. And I'm going to help you take care of your daughter so that she can go to her treatments and have the care she needs. You will not have to pay anything. Everything is on me. Sir, but how can I repay you for all this? I'm also going to help you with the girls' school. Your little girl is going to study. You won't have to worry about anything. She is going to finish her studies. I'm going to take care of the girl until she finished her university and all her studies. I'm going to pay for everything. From today on, you no longer have to worry about the girl's education, her mother's illness, 
or the girl's therapy. Thanks a lot. I really don't even know how to thank you. This is just too much for me. You deserve it, ma'am. It is a reward for what a good mother you are and what a good daughter you have. Thank you, sir. Can I give you a hug? Of course.